But first, reports that Tesla may take on Uber with a driverless taxi, but a dangerous Corvette hack may stop their plans in their tracks. Oh, man. Start moving. Sending brake command. Stops. Well, there are reports that Tesla may take on Uber with its own taxi service using driverless electric cars. But an iPhone hack may stop all of them in their tracks. Here we go. Um, start moving. Sending brake command. Stop. OK, so here we go. Starting our slow five mile an hour cruise. Um, keep it down below five. Sending the command. And we brake. Robert Siciliano is with me now, cybersecurity expert. So, Robert, are you concerned about Tesla after the Corvette hack? Absolutely. I'm concerned about uh, any uh, moving vehicle uh, being remotely controlled by whether it's a security researcher or potentially a criminal hacker. Uh, we all should be concerned about that. Okay, so what specifically are the vulnerabilities? Is the problem that as cars get more wired, as the Tesla model is, is implied to be, that they become more vulnerable? It is actually as they become more wireless. Uh, and the fact that um, they have uh, wireless entertainment systems, they can be accessed via Wi-Fi, uh, the Internet of Things being incorporated into cars and planes and trains and so forth, all of these peripheral devices uh, in some way, shape, or form can be reverse engineered, tampered with, and allowing that vehicle uh, to be hacked in some way, shape, or form. Okay, now the hackers that are working on these particular projects are so-called friendly hackers. They are doing this as part of research or maybe to make a name for their own firm. But do you think that other, let's say, bad hackers have an interest in getting access to these systems? Well, see, that's the thing. You know, right now, the majority of these hacks have occurred in a controlled environment where you have professional security, penetration testers seeking out these vulnerabilities, whatever their motivation might be. Uh, and right now, you know, they would respond to the manufacturer and say, hey, you've got this issue, and the manufacturer would quickly respond and issue a patch. Uh, that is a good thing. But when uh, criminals become aware of this and they go ahead and reverse engineer these uh, issues, then people could potentially die. So it's very important that um, all the manufacturers of all these different technologies make sure that their own people are uh, investigating their own technologies so that it doesn't get into the hands of the bad guy. All right. So it seems like more auto companies will be reaching out to more cyber uh, experts as uh, they seek to increase their employee base on that front. Robert, thank you so much for joining us. Robert Siciliano joining us there, cybersecurity experts.